Yay, we're recording. Okay. Um, I'm going to do a screen share and share my. I'm going to just share this internet browser with you guys. Okay. Can you see that? I can't um, actually see you guys. Yes, you can see it. Okay, cool. Um, just to make this easier. All right, so I didn't really know what to call this, so we're calling it How To Themes. Um, one of the things that that Melanie went over when we had our um, training in Novi is that it's always good to know what your purpose is and go with what works for you. So I wanted to start off by introducing myself. Um, not a lot of people have actually seen like all of our blooper photos. So that's me and my husband and I am right now, I'm a Emerald Beach body coach, and I have Shannon as my upline. Um, our team is called Fit and Foxy. I grew up in a small town, and now I'm still currently living in a small town. MSU grad, um, and you'll learn a lot about that when we start talking more about our niche because I use myself as an example. So, announcements. The Super Saturday is April 25th, and you can do a search by state. So um, if you are not in Michigan and going to be attending the Novi one with most of the Desire to Inspire team, then you're welcome to just do a search by state. I encouraged my coaches to, um, I encouraged them to post in the Dream Team and also in Desire to Inspire and just asking who might be in their area. So then they can maybe link up or go to a Super Saturday that's in like a middle ground. Hey Emily, I don't mean to cut you off, but I don't know if anybody else can see the slides, but I'm still looking at the how-to themes. Can you see it now? I see announcements now, yeah. Okay, I'll just keep it in this, in this view then. Thank okay. you. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Okay. Those pictures are cute, by the way. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Okay. So register for the 2016 cruise if you haven't already in the 2015 Coach Summit. Um, that's things that we already know, but as a new coach, make sure that you're asking your upline about how to um, get registered for those things because you're actually earning free money toward those trips right now. Um, whether that you're signed up or not signed up. So you might as well sign up. Success Club 5 this month is the Chalene Johnson bobblehead. And um, we're not having any issues with volume, but if you do have a lot of background issues, I would just ask that you mute your volume. So what are we talking about here? We are talking about how to create our theme based around us personally. So who are you? What's unique about you? Who are you attracting? What's your niche? How to create and implement a theme that will appeal to your niche. And this is what we're going over in a nutshell. Um, I really liked that this is kind of like a play off of what Marsha talked about um, on Monday night because she was talking about um, a lot of this more in a broad area and so now we're going to kind of focus in on you and applying it to you. So I guess one of the things we can talk about here is who are you? I would just start off making a list. I like to make lists. I made a list of um, things that I am or things that I enjoy and then I tried to think about like what is actually unique about me? What's different? Um, is it where I grew up? Is it my hobbies? Is it uh, my family situation? Is it my values? What is different about me? Or what do I 
And then who are you attracting? Are you actually attracting the people that you mean to? Because if you were in Pittsburgh um, this last January, I know I reached out and I asked a question to the panel and I said, you know, I feel like I'm, um, I must be a dude because I have all these guys asking me for these clean eating recipes. So am I talking in a way that they are reading and that they're connecting to? Or am I talking like I'm talking to a girlfriend, you know, at a girl's night kind of thing? So wording does matter. And your pictures do matter. It's uh, your billboard. Your wall is your billboard for your business. So here are some examples. These are just a couple that I pulled, and I wanted to show you a couple things here. Who are you? So here's just a quick list. I'm a wife. I have that at the top of my list. That's something that I value. That's the most important thing in my life is being a wife. A puppy mama, so I'm in charge of taking care of our little fur babies. I love chocolate. That's something that I don't think I'll ever get over. I just love it. So that's something that I do play off of when I'm thinking about, oh, sweets. Like I have this thing for sweets, and how can I get through that? And what's helped me is Shakeology. So I do try to say, like, if you're having difficulty, have your Shakeology for a dessert, you know, have it at eight o'clock at night when you're normally gonna go and pick through a candy dish or something. Um, we're expecting our little nugget. So that's something that's also important to me, but not a huge focus. The Christian, that's something that's very important to me. And I want to portray that in, in a certain way. Um, that would be attractive. Mama. More like me. Oh. Could you please mute your volume? Yep, sorry, hold on. Sorry, I just get really distracted. Yeah, I didn't. Emily, I you can mute everybody too. You have the option to mute all. Where is that, Cam? So if you go to settings at the bottom left and audio. Um. More settings, audio. You should be able, there should be a mute all. Automatically join audio by computer. Always mute microphone when joining, no. I'm not seeing it. Oh, well, to. Just kidding. That's not anything there. Okay, never mind. I thought you could. You can somewhere. I just don't know how. I think we're all muted now, though. Okay. So, I'm MSU alumni, which is something that helps me to connect to people who are in my area, but I don't want to limit myself to um, just people in this area. Because if I do that, then um, I'm kind of eliminating a lot of people that I would get along with or actually be friends with in real life. And actually, a lot of my coaches are not from or are not currently living in Michigan. So if I were to just talk about that all the time, too, it would deter a lot of people. I'm also in the military and so is my husband. I used to be super into running and doing races. I played tennis all four years of high school and was very into that. And I love to organize. That's something I love to um, organize the house. It's like a hobby of mine. So, I mean, take that for what you will. I don't want you to focus so much on um, the likes. And I am showing you that for a reason, but it's not so much about the likes. It's about the connection and the relationships that you're building. And we'll get into that in a couple slides. But for example, I had 470 plus likes when we revealed that we were expecting. I had 70 plus likes when we um, were celebrating our marriage anniversary. 
And that was posted at a really strange time. That was posted at like midnight. I think I posted it right at midnight. Um, and then I had 149 likes when I was promoted. My husband is the one who's promoting me in the military. And then 54 likes, which I was very surprised. Um, I never get that many likes when it's just me. I, I never do. Um, so that tells me that there may be people who are watching me um, in my pregnancy journey. Sorry. So what's your niche? This is something that we are all expected to do in our coach um, basics group. And this was one I know I sent it to my friend and coach Marcella a long time ago. But this is my girl, Jen. She's my best friend. She's an imaginary person. She looks like Megan Fox. Obviously, you can see her picture right there. So what did I put about Jen? And these are the things that you go through when you're going through your coach basics. But if you haven't done it, and I didn't do it in like my first three groups because I thought that I knew everything, um, I took the time and I really sat down and I did this. It took me like an hour or two. So this is my best friend, Jen. She is a total doll. She is 27. She has blue eyes and changes her hair between brunette and black depending on the season. She is naturally a blonde, but she never tells anyone that. She likes to keep her nails short and only gets them polished or painted when she's going out or having pictures taken. She's married now, but check her out in the leathers. That was before she married Todd and settled down. She's already had her first baby, Avery. She's almost two years old. They live in a subdivision right now outside of Chicago, but have been planning to move to Arizona in the next few years. She can't stand the cold, and Todd owns his own excavating company, so he's fine with them moving. She worked at the bank before her pregnancy, but Todd wants her to stay at home for a few years. Her favorite books are by James Patterson, and I just don't understand it. She loves U.S. Weekly and Cosmo. She Googles DIY projects, but never does them. She'd rather watch a girl movie and, a, and with a glass of wine. Hobbies, running outdoors, traveling, and her guilty pleasures, expensive makeup and jewelry. She likes to go to races that support different causes, girls night once a month, and dancing. Favorite meal, taco salad, vehicle, Cadillac CTS, fantasy, vacation, Rome. Primary emotion about... Beach body. She's nervous because it's different and she wants to look hot for her hubby and feel good about herself. She worries that she won't finish the program and her husband will give her a hard time. She worries that her family will think it's just another thing Jen had to go out and buy that she's never going to use. Her in laws always say that stuff behind her back. Her ultimate fear is that her husband won't find her attractive like he used to. She knows she can do it if she has the support but her husband is the kind of guy who has to see it to really support her 100%. So that's why she's looking forward to starting her first program with me. So I chose some things that were similar about me and some things that were different. And I also chose some things that I have noticed are um, things that I just noticed in my life. Like she's 27. We have very good friends that are a little bit older than I am. Um, that already have multiple children, and it seems like um, the majority of our friends do have that family established already, even though that we are just expecting our first. Um, things like her, her um, love of books. Like, I do not read James Patterson, and that's something where you know I could see a friend where she, we just wouldn't connect on that. So there's things where you'll get along with them, but they're not exactly you. So this brings me to, sorry, so we're always on the go. And that was part of, who, in my list of who are you. So that brings me to the Destination You Challenge Group idea. And I got this idea from talking to my mom she is super into themes, and when I brought up Melanie's idea about doing a themed group, uh, I explained it to my mom like how she always used to theme my birthday parties. So that's exactly what we did, and her and I just talked about, you know, well, this is what, I'm, what I want to do, something for people who are always on the go, because I feel like we are 
never home. You know, we don't have cable because we're never home to watch it. We don't um, do certain things or have certain things because we're constantly traveling. So I wanted to do something that was kind of centered around that. And the person who just doesn't have a lot of time and they feel like they live out of their car. So then I got some ideas on what kind of like road, road or traveling type things we would use. So detours, how would you use that? Um, how could somebody navigate back on track? Or if somebody has a divided highway, it would be like half of their family wants to eat how they normally do and half of their family wants to eat healthy. And how are we gonna work together to overcome that? So we're gonna work that into uh, like a theme Thursday or something to reflect on on Sunday. You know, is your family a divided highway? Let's talk about that and how we're dealing with it. Because that is a big struggle for people is um, having to cook multiple meals. That's one thing that it just, people feel like they have to take the time and they can't have what they want. So then also talking about how we are on a one-way street and we're not turning around. There's no U-turns. And then defining where are your roadblocks. So where do you get hung up? And what motivates you to keep going? What fuels your vehicle, you know? And the other ideas that I wrote down were just on demand. Somebody who is always on the go, on demand programs would appeal to them. Quick meals would appeal to them, and different travel food ideas and containers would appeal to that kind of person. So next, so excuse me, so with the Destination U Challenge group, that you're gonna be advertising for in your, well, I do my first two weeks. So I put the challenge group post out there right at the beginning of the month, and then I have all these supporting posts that come along in the next two weeks. So then, once that challenge group is getting ready to start, then I start my coaching campaign. And this is gonna go along with my theme for the whole month of being healthy on the go. And I'm gonna have to come up with some kind of hashtag, something catchy, I haven't gotten that yet. But the idea is life is a roadmap, and how do you wanna travel? Okay, so we have Becca, the socialite, in the passenger seat. We have Carolyn, the organized, um, and she's sacrificing. We have Steve, the sarcastic visionary, and Justin, the humorous daydreamer. If you have done any kind of personality tests, the DISC test is the one that's talked about in Entree Leadership by Dave Ramsey. And... This test talks about four different kinds of animals. So we have Steve is the lion in the back seat, the very sarcastic visionary. His, his uh, role is dominance and his strengths are that he's practical, he's productive, he is independent and decisive, but his weaknesses are that he can be sarcastic, unforgiving and cruel. So keep that in mind when I'm think I keep that in mind when I'm thinking about who, who do I want coaching with me? We all fit in the car, we all get along, but we all can have different kind of personalities. And then we have Justin, he also sits in the back seat because he's a daydreamer, so he wants to look out the window. And um, Justin is the golden retriever. He is all about steadiness. His strengths are that he's calm and easygoing, he's quiet and objective, but his weaknesses are that he's a procrastinator, unmotivated, and indecisive. Then we have Becca. She's the socialite. And Becca, in this case, would be the otter. She runs off of influence, and her strengths are that she's outgoing, responsive, warm, friendly, talkative, compassionate. But her weaknesses are that she's undisciplined and unproductive. So I picture her kind of being the person who... Um, she didn't really want to drive, but she wants to sit up front, and she wants to be texting people. She wants to be kind of talking to everybody, the life of the party. And then you have Carolyn, who's organized and sacrificing. Carolyn is the beaver. She works on compliance, and her strengths are that she's analytical, 
self-disciplined, industrious, organized, but her weaknesses are that she's moody, self-centered, touchy, negative, critical, and revengeful. So she's a little bit of a control freak, and that's why she's driving the vehicle. Um, I would encourage you to take that DISC test. If you haven't taken it, you can take it for free. And like I said, that whole coaching campaign, I'm going to be talking about how you want to be in the driver's seat, how you want to take control of your life. No matter what kind of personality that you are, you can be in the driver's seat and you can take charge of your own life. Um, so it doesn't, it doesn't, um, surround around one personality being better than the other. It's just that, um, where do you want to be in the vehicle and how do you want to travel? So then we have to create purposeful content. And this is like one of my favorite parts because we just kind of did all the dirty work. So now I get to do all the fun stuff. And the, these are all, all of my targeted posts. Well, not all of them, but a lot of recent targeted posts. And if you look at them and you read them, um, it might not seem like they are targeted, but in my mind they are. So they, there was a purpose behind that. And for example, I posted motivation this morning about um, taking the first step and how you, even if you need to tiptoe, you can take the first step. So that one, I chose a picture of us traveling um, intentionally because I wanted to show that we aren't always just homebodies taking selfies in the bathroom mirror. And I put a nice quote on there that I found online and then um, made it relate to something inspirational for the morning. The other thing that I posted was about um, how to take a salad on the go. And that one what didn't get a huge response, but what it did get was, excuse me, it did get a lot of traction and I've had more personal messages from that. Um, so that right there shows you that it's not always about the likes, but it can be about the relationships that you're forming. That shows me that those people who liked that are definitely in my niche because it's very limited. They didn't like it or form a relationship with me around that unless that we um, had it. I have 10 minutes left for some reason. How many slides do you have left? Actually, I only have one. Okay, so anyways, <laughs> I'll stop babbling. So then this other one was targeted because I was talking about how I need to be on the go. And this one was also motivational. And then this one was also tied into the day 16 one was also tied into a giveaway for that. This was my, um, I wanted to show you this link really quick. So we took the script, the 30 day workbook and literally just put it on there and then filled in days where we wanted to talk about traveling. And so this I can give out to my coaches when we're sharing posting days and make it super easy so that we're all on the same page, which is one of my things. Like I don't like randomness. I don't want us to be posting the same thing all the time. So this allows us to keep consistent with our challengers and get them the information that they need, but also some different tips on traveling. Like here we have um, easy, like quick breakfast foods. Because people always have that excuse that they don't have time to make breakfast. Um, and just changing that up for the other people who have been in our challenge groups for so long. The last thing that I have is if anybody has any questions and a quote that I saw on, um, I think it was Alyssa Showmaker's wall where she had this picture of herself and it just said something about being yourself as the new black. So that's something I'm going to encourage you to do is if you're not getting the traction that you want on your posts or you're not getting um, a bunch of people to join your, your bikini body challenge, you know, I have to think to myself, well, 
do I have a be do I have a, the typical bikini body or am I marketing to people who aren't even like me you know so that's why I went with being healthy on the go and le- living a busy lifestyle and I think that's really gonna work for us so does anybody have questions Emily this is like my weakest point I need <laughs> your organization and creativity and because I like what you're saying how there's like the main theme and then you branch it off and do little tidbits every day that tie into that yeah I love that and I think that that's so great I just am terrible terrible at it yeah well I'm not saying yeah like you are I don't (laughs) believe that you are but um I so what I did was I actually posted those into my calendar and I gave myself an hour block Okay. So every day in my Google calendar, I have an hour block and I'm calling it, you know, it's under my post calendar and I'm calling it, um, you know, healthy on the go or whatever. And I put that on Friday. So I want to talk about some tip on Friday or I get some idea about, um, well, I've been writing stuff down like crazy. The journey is the reward. Okay, the journey is the reward. That's going to be one of my motivations this week. I put it in my calendar, and I'm going to find this picture of a road from Ireland because we have all of these road pictures from when we went to Ireland, and I'm going to put that quote over these pictures that I personally already have. Um, Another one will be uniquely you. I liked that one. Um, I just have been saving these quotes and then plugging them in each day, one a day, like how Melanie said. So do you do like, say for today, you would spend your hour putting together the content and the picture and the post for tomorrow? Or do you do it for the day of? I've never really been into doing pre-post. To me, I feel fake when I do that. I have to do it the day of. Like if I, Sunday, for example, I had a terrible night on Sunday. I had a great morning, terrible night. So if I were to post something about like, um, I don't know, being like feeling uplifted or being so happy about something. Well, I, I wasn't really in a happy place, so I would feel inauthentic, you know? Right. Um, yeah, and I, I'm okay with being real, like regardless of how I feel or how I eat, if I cheat, if I'm on track, like I'm real with people. And I love that because people relate to you better. It's just the content, not the content, but like the the formation of when and how you're posting them is my biggest thing. What do you mean? I just need to uh, organize better. Yeah. I need to have a date. (laughs) Yeah, for sure. Do that. Like, um, I don't know, for example, this one, because I thought, you know, I wasn't sharing a lot of just value driven posts, just value, not like, recipes, families, like it wasn't, I just wasn't given enough value. So I'm like, okay, this is something that I've been using all the time um, for years. So I said, rushing to get ready for fun Friday, AKA baby Morgan appointment. But I wanted to share one of my favorites with you. This stuff and my stylist killer tip seriously helped save my hair from breaking off last summer with all of our motorcycle trips and adventures. That's my little plug. Like we like to go do stuff. Right. What's your go-to for hair care? So I'm not just like, hey, I like this stuff. I'm like... Yeah, so it still ties into your main theme of travel. I, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Or like, I just... Something you could pre-plan though, Cam, like this one. It's just motivational. Okay. So... In general. Yeah. There are many stones we stack and try to protect ourselves, but in the end, you're just left with a cold stone wall. Make better choices. You know, yeah. Like my tea. I mean, my tea did tell me let your heart speak to others' hearts. Okay. <laughs> but okay. yeah. Well, I thank know. you. I loved it. That was really good. But if you guys and if you guys have questions on like ideas or like how to, I know there's a group of women that are doing busy bee challenge. And it's kind of the same idea, but they're calling it Busy Bee. So they're talking about women and children and families being busy all the time. So 
mine I wanted to be more like destination you like you are on this journey to create a better you because <laughs> it's been more um like internal too right I really like that so yeah if you need ideas or anything like feel free to message me or if you want to peek at my calendar I know I think it was Shannon was saying about sharing my calendar and I could do that in my two minutes that we have left go ahead I'd love to see it I've seen when you did like the Google Docs or whatever if I can change the share a new window so I kind of do it like only every couple days because things change so much but like today I'm still on the call with you guys um this was supposed to be my tip I was supposed to get that out earlier so now I didn't get it out and I still need to post my transformation Tuesday so I'm just gonna slide that tip over to tomorrow but I'm giving myself an hour block because those are the ones that I really want to have a lot of thought. It's not something that I'm already doing, like, you know, working out. Yeah. No, I like that you schedule your time to actually make a pulse. I think that that would save me time later because I'm sitting there trying to think of what to say and pull together ideas and whatever. If I sat down and scheduled the time for it, I think that that would be helpful. Yeah. Because I'm the same way. I schedule everything. If I don't write it down, I won't remember. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I am, too. Well, I'm going to let you guys go because we have less than a minute. But thank you so much for being on the call. And if you need anything, just post in the team page, okay? Thanks, Em. Yep. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Bye, ladies.